stay on this and bring in now from Houston, Texas, former NASA astronaut and retired U.S. Navy Captain Mike Foreman. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks for the early wake-up call. Oh, yeah, we're, we're happy to help. <laughs> Thank you for getting up so early in Texas. Um, what do you make of all the frenzy behind uh, the solar eclipse? Are you as excited as the rest of us are? Oh, definitely. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking I wish I was up there in Carbondale with Jeff. Uh, uh, to see the total eclipse would be pretty amazing. We're going to experience about 70% here in Houston, and uh, that'll be pretty cool, but uh, it'd be awesome to be in the path and see the total eclipse. Yeah, well, so what kind of information are, are NASA scientists going to be looking for today? I think it's going to be interesting from a science perspective what we're going to learn, right? I think it's going to be great. Uh, of course, uh, they have cameras all across the United States that are going to be pointed at the sun and taking pictures during the total eclipse. But uh, I'm also thinking about those astronauts up on the space station. They're going to have a great view, and they're going to get some great science done up there, too. So. That's going to be pretty cool. I wish I was up there with Jeff and Randy and Peggy. <laughs> oh, that's a great point. Lee Carter's got a question for you as well. It's really exciting. I mean, this is something that in our lifetime we've never seen before. 99 years since we've seen it across the United States. There are a lot of people, though, who are afraid to look and are afraid that their glasses aren't going to be necessarily the, the right approved glasses. And they're talking about, do I look at it through my cell phone and do reverse? How would you advise people to look at it safely? Well, I would probably say don't look at it. I have my uh, NASA-approved glasses right here uh, that I'm going to use today. Uh, don't look at it if, you don't, if you're not sure that you have approved glasses or uh, a, about a number 12 welder's uh, helmet on or something that will ensure that you don't do any damage to your retina. But, uh, you, you know, I remember uh, as a kid uh, experiencing a, an eclipse and making one of those uh, uh, boxes with uh, with a <laughs> pinhole in the end and, and watching the uh, the eclipse on the back of that box. It's another way to look at it. Safely, I remember that. Obviously. I remember that as yeah. well. Andrew pig has got a question for you as well, Mike. Hey, Mike. Before the show, uh, one of the guys here was saying that the eclipse was making uh, sort of people and animals act funky. You think there's any behavioral effect to the eclipse? Oh, definitely. I think uh, it's it's not the eclipse necessarily. I think it's just the fact that. The sun is going down essentially, and animals uh, like birds will stop chirping and uh, they'll, they'll get quiet just as if uh, it was sunset. And uh, for a few minutes, they'll be confused, and then uh, you know the sun will come back up and life will go on as normal. <laughs> I doubt they're going to look any differently at the sun than they would any other day. Uh, Mike, before we let you go, though, this, this is the first solar eclipse in nearly a century. So, why are these so rare? Well, I really don't think. Solar eclipses are very rare. Uh, I was perusing the, the, the NASA website, eclipse2017.nasa.gov, and, and all my friends at NASA will, uh, will be glad that I, that I got that in. Um, and apparently, I'm learning, and I'm, a, I'm an aerospace engineer, so uh, I know everybody thinks astronauts are astronomers. We're, we're not all astronomers, but uh, maybe uh, amateur astronomers at best. But, um, actually, there are a lot of solar eclipses that happen around the Earth. It's just that a lot of them happen in the middle of the ocean somewhere where nobody's going to get to see them. And, and this one is rare. You say 99 years because it's 99 years since one actually passed from uh, west coast to east right. coast across the United States. So it's so, uh, it's so well, exciting. You know, we've talked. It's, it's yeah, so it is exciting. so exciting. It's it's very cool. Thank and you. And to think that the, the next one is just uh, a few years away in 2024. So. Mike Foreman, thank you for getting up early for us. We really appreciate it. Glad to be here.